All right, guys, so I have a 67 Camaro trunk lid, and it does not have the holes for the spoiler. So I have to make a custom template because the one I ordered, well, it's just not coming in, and I would like to get this done before spring so I can get it painted. As you can see, the holes are very gunked up. Some are not even there, so I'm going to have to drill those out, get those studs in there. But to make this custom template, what I'm going to do, I saw a guy also on YouTube. That's how I got the idea from, which I'll put him in the description in case you want to see his video also. Get a cardboard box, and you're going to cut it up and make it the length of the spoiler, and then you're going to outline it. And then when you outline it, you're going to match it up here. And you're going to poke the holes through, line it back up here, dot the holes, drill it out. And you can make these holes a little bit bigger than what they need to be, just so you can move it around a little bit and make it fit as perfect as possible. Alright guys, so I got to the point where I finished making my cutout. Um, two issues, I got a hole here. The hole here, this one was already over here. Took a Dremel, cleaned it up a bit. Um, to fill it up, I'm going to use epoxy because all of these were messed up to begin with. So I'm going to take my studs put them in. I even dremeled a little bit around so that it gets more of a sit in. Epoxy it in as straight as possible. This one was already cracked and coming through, so I just went ahead and drilled through it and did the same. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take an earplug, stick it in there. That way the epoxy doesn't flow through onto the rest of the spoiler. I had a few cracks in the back that I went down in on. This one was pretty big. It still has a bit of a crack in there. I might try and fix it more. Same with here. And then a little bit over here. That's about where I'm at, so I'm going to start doing that. i got fiberglass bondo and glaze. Before I fill this with epoxy, I'm going to dip some of these Q-tips. That's perfect alcohol. You can also use mineral spirits. It'll probably be better. Going through all of these to make sure no dust and fiberglass and glue and crap that was in there. And then we'll see what we're going to see where it goes. Template is done. Got it on the car and lined up. Try and get it as close as possible to the back. It's not gonna look perfect, but you'll have a little bit of room once you drill it out to move it around how it needs to be. That's about it. I'm gonna take this off. We're gonna see exactly where those holes are. going to measure each one of these holes putting a line directly in the middle that way I get the most accurate drill mark so we'll see how that goes see how it fits hopefully it goes well came out pretty nice the holes aren't too bad I might have to spread out a little bit to make it fit better, but it looks good. So now, I gotta fix a little imperfection, a little pretty big imperfections. And spoiler, and get it primed and painted. It's gonna look real good. Along with this, will be primed and painted. Along with the other side, probably could be all satin black. All right, now that the trunk is drilled, this is lined up pretty damn good. Time to move on to getting this spoiler fixed up, because, um, definitely can't put it on the car looking like that. We'll go over it with some isoprofic alcohol, wipe it down. Then I have a fiberglass bondo. Layer that on there. I do have some pretty deep 
gashes in it. And then I gotta fill these holes. Got two of them. Then after that, after sanding that, I got some glaze to go over it. And it'll be primered in a flat black. And then get a dusting of like a gray primer so I can sand it and make sure everything, every spot was hit. And after that, I'll go to the trunk lid. Get that done. And then during the spring, it's going to get painted. So hope you all stick along for that. See how that goes. Got the first layer of fiberglass bondo on. Still some little chips I have to go over one more time. Just figured I'd fill in the really deep cracks first and then move on to the smaller things, which could probably be filled in with glaze. It's coming along. This is the final video clip on the 67 Camaro spoiler. Now, it did, it did take a lot longer than I really expected it to because I just, you know, I got busy. So I didn't really took my time doing it, to be completely honest. But um, it did come out extremely nice. I'm very happy with it. Sorry about the noise. It's a fan I got going right now. I have the car in a carport. So I got the fan going just to circulate, kind of try and moisture control. But, you know, this is after, you know, I, as you see in the last clip, I got the spoiler uh, template on here. You got the holes made out. Now, I'll put a clip in. I used a image on, uh, I forget what website it was, but basically it showed you the measurements between i just used that to get more of an exact measurement which some of them were off a little bit but since i already had those um markers out on it i just made them as close as they needed to be i'll show you guys that you'll see in the clip after this video but um yeah let me show you what it looks like on the inside now it is not i never finished it completely but this actual trunk lid wasn't actually made for the spoiler so you already know that. You can see I did have to cut it out a little bit. The wash was there. This one I had to cut out a little bit as well. And there's the ones up top. Now on this side, there's no gasket, or at least it didn't come with a gasket for on the inside. But on this side, you can see, let me see if I can find one that's a little visible. You really can't see them because it's tightened down, but there there are like they're thick little circle gaskets. I trimmed them down so you didn't really see them on the outside. You might be able to see them by looking under. Maybe yeah, right there you see one. It's kind of circular right there. Definitely came out really nice. I'm very happy with it. You'll see in the images I add in. This was all really chipped really badly it filled in really nice came out super nice this is just in primer right now i'm gonna get the card painted very soon so guys tag along for that super super nice i was very happy how it came out all the edges are really nice obviously the underside i have to paint still just wanted to get it on the car so can make it look at least a little complete to drive around at some shows. I had some pictures in of the shows I went to. I can see though, so I need to do a little bit of body work. Overall, it's a really solid poster. Front closes super nice, lines very well. Spoiler sets very evenly. Primer this, primer that. I used a high build uh, SEM primer. Obviously, I used the black. So, not sure if you guys have seen the entire car yet, so I probably won't unbag the entire thing. But, you know, at certain spots that common rust, super nice. 
no issues when your car is going to need to get painted. Don't have to deal with all the rust issues and shit. Interior is super nice. Finish all it up. Got the headliner. This is the fiberglass headliner. Um, extremely headache, if I'm going to be honest. I still need to do some of the work in here. I'm not sure if you guys can see very well, but didn't follow that line a little bit. So I have to trim the fiberglass and then pull the actual um, the fabric on the headliner and pull it over and tuck it in. Sort of like how this is right here. So basically, the fiberglass is on the outside. If I pulled this... Um, lace out you'd see the fiberglass you cut that and then you just pull this over and i just haven't gotten to it same with this these didn't fit super nice at all honestly so i have to trim these pretty good right before the car gets painted uh it's gonna be painted this color red or it's probably be a better yeah it's coming out real well uh engine is done it's a 327 small block uh, had a little bit of oil issues, but everything's solved now. Show you guys real quick. I put my keys on. Hold on. Sorry, guys. Wish I had to stand, but not just yet. See, you now I'm going to go from make things a little easier. Gorgeous engine. Metal lines. Just want to make it look real nice. Uh, this is the hood I also painted as well. I had some pictures in of what I did with this. I uh, I also used the uh, SEM uh, black primer on this as well. And then I went over it with two coats of uh, satin black paint. Came out really nice. And this was with a uh, rattle can as well. Super impressive how it came out. Very happy with myself of you know, the job I did. Got a dehumidifier. I have one in here, one in the car, one in the trunk. And then I also have one underneath. I also have cardboard to help with the moisture. Like I said, I really don't like the moisture of the car being outside. But this is what you got to deal with right now. To uh, get another garage. So either build another garage or I'll have to sort at my grandfather's for a little while. Uh, paint wise. Going to paint it soon. I'm going to take the whole front clip of the car off and do that separately. That way it's a little bit easier. But um, future-wise with the car, I want to get a uh, 700 R4, four-speed automatic. Right now it's got a turbo 350 in it, which, you know, it, it runs good. It shifts really nicely, but um, it's got 456s in the back, 12-volt posi. Thing gets real rowdy when it gets to the high RPMs. The thing's just screaming, you know. So definitely want to get a four-speed for this. Got the original engine back here, transmission, rear. Basically got all the parts for the... So if I ever really wanted to make the car completely original, I could, but... You know, I want to make it so I can enjoy it, you know? But, yeah.